So, if the election is fake, then what's really going on? The end of America. 165K. That's how much money per year the woman on your screen, Paula Leave, Lev, Leave, I don't really give a shit. That's how much money a year she makes. In this great country of mine, the United States, it's always about the money. And, well, you don't get to make 169k without at least one person of Caucasian descent taking a bit of a liking to you, you know? You cannot get to making 169k a year without having a few Caucasian friends. That's just, that's legally on paper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't get there without that. Yet, we have this really fun story from the New York Post. White spite, NYC principal conspired to oust Caucasian teachers. This is written by Susan Edelman. And this is the teacher right here, Paula Leave. Lev. It's bugging me that I don't know how that's pronounced. Principal of the High School for Law and Public Service is under investigation by the Department of Education after allegedly making controversial statements about white faculty members. The faculty of Washington Heights High School is rebelling against their principal, charging in a vote of no confidence that she has flagrantly but unsuccessfully attempted to divide it to divide our school by race. Well, good on them, huh? Like calling her out for this nonsense and once again calling her out for this nonsense. My goodness, how quick are you ladies are, are to bite the hand that feeds? Paula Lev, or Leave, principal of the high school for law and public services, now an invite. Okay, we already went through all that. She was going to uh, educate for allegedly telling a faculty member she was going to get rid of all these white teachers that aren't doing anything for the kids of our community. A, a complaint states it's the parents' job to do for the kids of that community. And particularly in NYC, in the tri-state area, we've done a damn good job of breaking families apart, making sure that families never come to fruition in the first place. So, you know, and, and that's really where the community comes in. It's not the government. It's not the schools. It's the families. Lev, a Dominican who also asked the facility, the faculty member to conspire with her to try to oust a white colleague, according to the complaint filed last week with the DOE's Office of Equal Opportunity. She definitely has something against white people, says the complaint, the complaint obtained by the Post. On the last day of school, Lev gave the faculty member a notice that he was placed in placed in excess, meaning no longer needed at the school, and should look for a job elsewhere in the Department of Education. He blew the whistle on her, and a week later, he was he was excessed, a colleague said. It's unclear whether Lev knew about the complaint. The complaint came amid simmering unrest at the school, which staffers blamed on the way they said was Lev twisting the current concepts of, e of equity and anti-racism, which the Department of Education promotes and teachers overwhelmingly support because at face value, it, it, like, that's one of the best uh, parts. I, I, yeah, I guess about the best parts about the current, you know, communistic, globalistic, uh, Marxist movement is that it's always under a veneer of something that, you know, a, a decent person can get behind. But there's always just more nefarious bullshit as soon as you start peeling the layers of that onion back. It, the, the, the more onion layers you peel back, the stinkier the shit gets. And this is absolutely no exception, huh? The satisfaction with Lev, 39. Oh, crap, we are the exact same age and she's making 169K a year. <laughs> My white friends, Jesus. <laughs> Boiled up in February when teacher Nick Bacon, the union chapter leader, filed a routine grievance about a scheduling issue that could have affected most of the faculty's uh, faculty staffers, said. <clears throat> In front of half a dozen students, a, a half a dozen other staffers, Lev questioned Bacon's motives. I wasn't sure what your problem with me was. Maybe it's because I'm a woman of color and you're a white man. Oh, my Christ. 
and you just, just just straight to it because because you created like with all of this equity and oh my goodness with all the woke bullshit that you guys have out there you created monsters all right not figurative but literal monsters <laughs> lev asked bacon according to a march 2nd letter to district 6 superintendent manny ramirez and signed by most of the school's tenured members staffers were outraged that lev had seemingly accused bacon i wonder if he's a uh, if he's related to kevin who was raising their labor concerns of being racist the school had a, div- a diverse staff about half m- about half white, some Jewish and Greek, which, you know, I mean, according to the Crayola cabal, right, a mix of black, Hispanic, and Asian to make up the rest. The grievance raised by Bacon was resolved in the union's favor. In an effort to quell the fervor over Mar- over Lev's remark, Ramirez agreed in a meeting that that what she said was inappropriate, but added that the comment expressed Lev's feelings and urged Bacon to work with her, Staffer said. Once again, feelings, emotions, not logic, not, not, it's just, the, it, it, it sucks that it has to be removed, but if you want to do things, if you want to be productive and actually get things done, it has to go. The The feelings and emotions, it, it, trust me, we don't get to where we are as a society right just a standard of living wise we don't get to where we are if you're stopping every 10 seconds for somebody's feelings you, you just don't and it, it, and the those without a y chromosome seem to have a harder time grasping that concept because we've had generations of academia now who's pressed this who, who've created emotional logic and all of these other you know buzz terms and genders that really serve no real purpose other than to uh justify the existence of their professions in a later meeting with Bacon, Lev apologized for making the re- the remark openly at a staff conference, but not for the substance of her comments, saying it reflected her true feelings and should have been expressed to him alone, said people informed of the dis- in discussion. At the same time, they said Lev suggested that Bacon read the 2018 book. Oh, my son, they always want you to read. Stop. Stop telling me to read. Oh my goodness, book by Robin D'Angelo, White Fragility, Why is it so hard for white people to talk about racism? Because there's more important and interesting things to talk about and do, damn it! Which argues that whites get defensive when questioned about racial inequality. Because real talk, what the fuck you want them to do about it? I mean, ultimately, as an individual, right, an individual conversation, what the fuck would you expect them to do about it? Jesus Christ, just don't be a dick, all right? That's it. Just don't be a dick. We're cool. I I get it. (laughs) She said Bacon could join her and other staffers in studying the book and have courageous conversations using a term coined by a consultant hired, oh my goodness, by the DOE to give implicit bias workshops for employees. This is is tax money. This is why it taxes so damn high in New York. They're spending your tax money on this shit. It's just like, dude, can, will you just lower a fucking tax, please? Yeah, how about instead of that, just put that whatever money you're spending on implicit bias bullshit. You just, you know, maybe put it towards property taxes. Yeah, get everybody's property taxes down a little bit. Maybe, maybe. No, no, we got We got to keep this nonsense going because that's the, it, once again, it justifies your existence. I'm sorry, but Jesus, isn't that what kids are for? Four months after the conflict involving Bacon, another faculty member filed the discrimination complaint, alleging that Lev had pressured him to help her engineer the ouster of a colleague, an unidentified white female staffer. Lev wanted the faculty member to get a state education certification, the complaint states, so he would not have the same title as the targeted colleague, clearing the way for Lev to access the more senior staffer. Miss Lev has asked me to conspire with her on a couple of occasions in getting rid of my colleague, the faculty member alleges in the OEO filing. She also stated to stated to me in Spanish that she was going to get rid of all these white teachers that aren't doing anything for the kids of our community, the complaint states. It concludes, I believe Miss Lev is not suited for the position of principal because of the comments she has made to me about white people and the malicious ways in which she thinks and speaks. She is not fit to be a leader of a school. So yeah, yeah guys, <sighs> I'm going to be in 100% agreement with you, but as per usual, I mean, what, what, 
Yeah, I mean, she's she's not unattractive. Let's keep it real. Right? She's definitely cute, but we talk about it on the channel all the time. This isn't like like the, that 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 missing Y chromosome, ladies, is so damn important because it stops you. It, 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 well, it, like you know, a scent stick is what stops you. The the scent stick, the the nutrients and ingredients that you get from you know saying from 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 the Y chromosome when it enters inside of you keeps you from you know going this bonkers and quote and admittedly perfect circumstances okay let's just be real about that all right but either ways guys i mean we aren't the a- answer to every every single thing but you know feminism and the and, and particularly the pushing of these ideologies is something that like yeah like yeah you can really attribute it to that it's very easy but either ways guys with that being said we're gonna bring this one to an end all the internet stuff if you like it toss it like this like go ahead do that too nobody's scared of you sub if you enjoy my fantastic voice you want to get videos like this every single day share because sharing is scaring and youtube and bitch you like aren't the biggest fans of your boy over here for very obvious reasons bang the bell for notifications get something from teespring check me out on patreon as well links in the description actually go in the description box and do damage and speak let me know what do you guys think in the comments uh yeah this is like it keeps coming like it, there's a pattern to the to, to 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 those who really look to who really seek to uh, press race as they're like they're they're willing to die on that hill and yeah you know, it's a it's it's a it's a pattern that you know, I just can't help but notice the missing Y chromosome in it right it's always these chicks that have all these the, the, like you you are living basically the dream but you, you can't help yourself it's um, it's amazing to me and that's why i thought that this was a very interesting conversation to have but let me know let's keep the conversation going in the, um in the comment section all right until the next one Jimmy, you're thinking with your dick. I am not thinking with my dick. Yes, you are. No, I just think that she's a, she's a emotional, Jim. interesting, caring girl. Jimmy, that's your dick talking.